nice. Is it that one? Nope, it's definitely that one. Are you peeking out from Fairbanks? Uh, no, Ninana. Where is that? It's just outside of Fairbanks. One of these lots, you can't see the manhole cover. I don't like that mod. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a headache I, at I times, right? I genuinely can't pick up the sled because I can't find it. What? Now I can't just back up to it even though I've already selected it. That's nice. You found it? No, I, I can't find it. You want to take this Not one with me? Not listen to this. I got a load. It's a wheel loader. 34,000 pounds going from Anchorage, Alaska to Fairbanks, Alaska. It's 14. It's 1100. $2,063 a mile. Yeah, I guess we can take it. All right, we got our first load on the board. We're about to be on the board anyway. Getting ready to go pick it up now. Welcome back to Trade Trends Gaming, man. We are live. We are back live for another episode. That's right, season one, episode four of Alaskan Ice Road. What in the world? Where am I at? You at the, the truck stop still? I'm not at a truck stop. I'm, uh. I guess I'm at my house. They put me back at my house? No, no, it just loaded me in the game. Okay, I'm still at that truck stop that we stopped off at yesterday. Okay. I was gonna say. Alright. <laughs> I was just about to say, man. How you feeling today, Jack? Pretty good. Pretty good. Getting those wipers on, it's blistering. Hey, right, let's go ahead and get those lights on. You're right about that. All right, we'll just sit here for a second, let this truck warm up. We got a warning light. We got a lot of air pressure build up, a lot of oil build up. We got a bit of a snow coming through here right now. I'm uh, pretty sure we're looking, st we still looking good on fuel. Yeah, we still looking good on fuel. We haven't filled up since uh, we bought this truck. But welcome back to Trade Trends Gaming. If this is your first time watching, man, this is our Alaskan Ice Road Season company-wide campaign on the road from zero to one million. Starting off from nothing, man. Starting off from absolutely nothing. This is crazy. I can't get my can't get anything to work on my phone today. Should be good here. 
But yeah, we just bought this brand new truck on uh, last episode. So I'm pretty excited about that. Let's get this light off. It's kind of kind of bright, right? Let's get those wipers on. But yeah, this is a company ride thing at Drake Trench Trucking where we're going to be running these flows on the Alaskan Ice Road, man. The Alaskan Ice Road. And uh, right now we're meeting up with one of our drivers now, Nomadic Jack, on YouTube. Make sure you go check out his channel. He got some great stuff over there, man. Oh, no. I hate when that happens. So I'm actually trying to get the chat up, guys. Uh, for some reason, it does not want to work with me. Let me just try turning the screen off and turning it back on. And we'll try it that way. But yeah, road from zero all the way to one million. I'm pretty sure we can do a pretty good job at it. We just bought our first truck yesterday, running a scary load all the way from Port Hole Bay down to Fairbanks. We got a good working truck. We got a good group of guys. Uh, Team Nomadic. Yep. It's going to be assisting us with some of these loads today. We're going to be uh, running a convoy, two-man convoy this morning. Trying to work our way up to a million dollars, man. And we just... We in debt right now, so we got to work our way out of debt, and I think we can pretty much do that, man. I am going to be hiring some drivers on this uh, season. I'm going to be hiring some drivers, hopefully. I can get up to that point, but that means buying a whole nother truck. Now, it's 55 coming through here, but probably going to slow it down to about 45. I can barely see anything through this blizzard. Uh, do you know exactly where we're going to pick up? Yeah, we're going to be going. All right, so good question. I'm headed to the pickup location now, man. It doesn't still be any day right now. Uh, But I can probably tell you exactly where we're picking up from. Anchorage. Anchorage. Uh, yeah. The Alaska Dock. Pretty good at driving and looking at this map, apparently. <laughs> Alright, let me get back up here. He heads over there now. Let's go to this right lane. Alright, we're just outside of Anchorage, getting ready to pick up that first load. Truck running smooth, it's running pretty nice. Doing about 47 miles per hour coming through here. Buckle up for safety, it's the law. Let's go to start breaking it down here. Gonna be switching to 30 miles per hour, 35 miles per hour. Let's go over to our left here.
those rear view mirrors, we're gonna be making this right up here. Oh man, almost missed my exit. Cool. Getting off at Anchorage. And I just love the J brake on this Freightliner FLD. We got our snow chains on, man. We got our snow chains on. We got our engine upgrades. We also have our grill cover, you know, helping keeping the engine warm. Like the snow is cleared up here. Get those wipers off. Get ready to pull into the bay now. Pick up that first load. We got bills to pay. We got a wheel loader weighing 34,000 pounds and a drop deck trailer going from Anchorage, Alaska over to Fairbanks. Now I expect this load no later than 8.07 p.m. That's 397 miles, 8 hours and 47 minutes to get there this Friday at 4.49. So we should be able to get it there by this afternoon and be home for lunch. Or should I say dinner? Yeah, what dinner? <laughs> that tanker over there? Is it, oh, wait, no, it's a, a loader. wheel loader. Wheel loader. Oh, please. I need the money. Oh, I see it.
Alright, I'm all loaded up here. Pulling out. Oh, there it is. Alright, let's check this load out. We're gonna wait for Jack to load up his load real quick. Let me check that load out. Why does it keep going out on me, man? I hope this doesn't happen on the road. All right, man. Now I can see the chat. I can finally see the chat. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Trade Trends Gaming. We are back. Season 1, Episode 4. We finally did it. That's right. We did it. We got our brand new truck. The Freightliner FLD. And I wish y'all could see... We'll check it out in the daytime so you can see just a little bit more of it. Didn't mean to pull up those windows. But, uh, we got a brand new Freightliner FLD. We got the snow tryers on. We got r, &R trucking on the side. We got the cover grill mat on the front, you know, helping to keep the engine warm. And our first load with this truck, we're going to be taking this wheel loader. This wheel loader, I think it's about 31,000 pounds running it with our buddy, Nomadic Jack. He's live right now. Let's. He's live right now, guys. Let's do us a favor right here, okay? Hold on, I'm gonna put something in the chat real quick. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Congratulations on the new truck. I appreciate that. What's up, Golden? We got Golden up in the chat. Ernest Wilfred. What's up, man? Barto, my brother from another mother. We got Barto up in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. All right, everybody, check the chat really quick. Check the chat really quick, okay? Get ready. We're going to do it in three, two, one. We're coming in from Trail Turns Gaming. Thank you, brother. Thank you. That is awesome. Thank you for the raid, everyone. Got Barto in the chat. We got Janet in the chat. What's up, guys? We got a trade trends raid going on at Nomadic Trucking. That is absolutely awesome. Thank you guys for coming out. Oh, no such thing as oh, being too early, good. man. <laughs> What's up, everyone? Thank you for coming and checking it out. We're also live over on Twitch TV, Nomadic Jack, is the same thing over there too. YouTube rather, good YouTube. Big shout out to Nomadic Jack, ladies and gentlemen. But time is money, time is money, and it's time for us to hit this ice road. We got episode four, zero to one million. Let's get it. You want to leave this one? How do they give you a? I forgot you can change it, can't you? You can change the trailer that you use. I completely well, forgot we don't that. Own our own trailers. We don't own our own trailers yet. Yeah, but when you accept a load, like when you accept a load, yeah. you can accept it. 
Let's go ahead and pull out. Alright. I didn't even get to show y'all the interior of the truck. We'll sh I'll show y'all guys in a minute. We can get some time. I'm mad because it takes so long to unlock beacons and the oversized banners. Is it really? Yeah. I, I didn't know that. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna make it this right here. Ooh, brakes. Oh man, I gotta get something done about this controller, man. Hold on. I can't wait till I finish setting up my wheel. I can't wait to own a wheel. Come on, get back, man. Sometimes they'll back up for you. Ah, uh, this guy's gonna be difficult, man. I'm coming back, watch out. Really, people in that truck over there. Give him a bird while you're driving by. All right, be advised. This is truck and trade coming over here. CB. We got a wheel loader going from Fairbanks, oh, all the way to Fairbanks from Anchorage, Alaska, man. Could be weighing about 34,000 pounds, and we're going to make some good money on this one. Approximately $1,100. And boy, could we use the money. These trucks ain't cheap, are they? So let's get it there, let's keep it safe, and I'll see you on the other side, brother. Damn, Damn. Fuck. Now one thing about owning your own truck, now we gotta take care of our own fuel, man, our own maintenance. And we'll keep track of everything. We are gonna keep track of all the money that everyone's making, all the loads that everyone's making. Uh, we're probably gonna split up into teams, Split up into teams and see which team wins as far as the end of this ice road season goes. Uh, we stay to the stay to the left here, get on to the city, exit towards the city. Now we are running realistic economy as far and as well as realistic driving. Alright, the speed's gonna be picking up at 35 miles per hour coming through mile marker 394. Visibility is a bit low out here, man. It's a bit low, but it's okay. It is okay. Nothing we haven't dealt with before. No, it has. <laughs> Been worse. It's been worse. All right, let's go ahead and start getting over to this left-hand side, man. Left-hand side. Mile marker three nine three. We got a left-hand turn coming up. Crazy, you still got people out here hanging out. At least they got on their winter clothes. Really? Yeah. Kind of reminds me of Chicago. In the middle of winter. Red light. heavy on the brakes there but that's all right I mean at least they work now at least they working you can see that Frank grill cover yep looking great looking great like share comment subscribe I appreciate that Janet ring that bell 
on the road to 1 million. We got to get to 700 first. Sitting just shy of one subscriber from 640, guys. We just kept going up last night. And we've definitely, as, the, as a family, have been really putting in that work. I mean, everybody's been committed. Bartow, Pippi J, Janet, Golden. I mean, there's just so many of us out here that's been committed. Nomadic Jack to the vision, to the hustle, to the grind. And we gonna keep it going. We've been going hard all year. And that's what we're gonna continue to do. Dropping new, fresh, greater and greater content every day. On the road to 700, ladies and gentlemen. Got me, got you want to do a long haul now, man. Hey, man, we would love to have you over here at Trey Trends Trucking. And even if you're a part of another VTC, you can still come over here and run with us, you know. Yeah. Now, if you want to run on the ice road with us, this is inclusive to the Trey Trends Trucking VTC. Uh, as I this is a paid mod, and uh, I got I go out of my way to make sure I provide that for everybody. That's a part of uh trade trend trucking. Uh, but yeah, man, we also run vanilla. We run uh modded. We run over in the states. We've been a little focused trying to get our money up over here on this season, as this is the greatest story that I've ever seen been done on ATS. Zero to one million company wide. I mean, you just don't see that. You just don't see it. And it's, we made it a little bit of a competition to see who can get to one million first without, you know, loans, all loans being paid off, without any mods being used as far as any money mods being used and using that realistic economy. Now, it's a grind. It is a grind, but it's going to make for one interesting story down the line. Switching up to, to teams like team one, team this, team that. Uh, and it should make it a little bit even that much more interesting especially when everybody's not able to get on at a time but it you know encourages people to get on run those loads and uh it's a friendly competition we all still one big happy family over here man it's a it's a friendly competition but yeah golden come check us out man fair warning i'm a little competitive so Hey, well, I'm glad to have you on my team, then. <laughs> oh, if you see my live stream from last night. <laughs> All right, trucker, we got 367 miles to go. It's going to be 60 pulling through here. Now, with visibility this low and the lows being this heavy, I say we push about 50 coming through here. As we got a curb coming up too, so let's go ahead and start breaking it down. Alright, Jenna said, dang, I fell asleep so early last night. I missed the last live. We did three lives yesterday, guys. Talk about the grind. Talk about the grind. Uh, you got a truck blocking half of the intersection for that railroad crossing. Single lane road, single lane road, my working 357. Here, I'll be on here. 10 4. Yo, we missed you a lot on that stream. We did. We had everybody in here. We had Corolla. We had Hippie J. Of course, Big Brother Parto. Golden, did you? I, Golden was in a few of the live streams yesterday. I don't think he made it to the, the last live stream last night either. And that's understandable. We, we started off a little late. I uh, tried to get stuff ready for you guys, but uh, I tell you what, it's a, it's a quite a bit of work, but it is worth it. It is worth it when we uh, sit down, and we push out that much content. Uh, I am gonna try to focus on pushing out more episodes. Well, we're going to talk about that at a later time. 
you had a curve coming up mile marker three five four I got my cruise control set at 351 uh, just be advised we that could change at any moment now as we do have two curves coming up ahead at 349 Janice said, sorry, I was out. I didn't even hear my phone ring. Hey, we tried to get in contact with you. <laughs> but that's okay, Janet. You were working yesterday, so I definitely support the rest. Definitely support some rest. Just a little bit of Curry Rose coming through my market 329. Be advised. I don't even think I fed the dog, but she was knocked out with me. Yeah, did you at least get some good sleep, man? I'm swerving off the road trying to read this chat. Did you at least get some good sleep last night? the weight of the truck and the weight of that trailer behind us we got a bit of a straightaway at mile marker 303 just crossing over this river here man when I say it looks beautiful it really looks beautiful I wouldn't mind moving to Alaska but I already know if I got tired of the snow in Maryland that quick I would definitely get tired of uh, the snow out in Alaska quick but I guess it's a different feeling though, you know, I like being out in the wilderness. I just don't like being cold 24-7, you know, I'm like a beach yep. guy. I like being on the beach. I like the sun. Now there's been times where, you know, I took the Camaro down to Florida with the top down. And at every stoplight, man, every stoplight, it was just so hot. I'm putting up the top. I got the AC blasting. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but there's been times... You said what, brother? Uh, I've done the same thing, just not with a Camaro. Yeah, man, it's it's a different feel. It's a different feel, but out in Cali, when I used to live out in California, man, it was a lot better. It was so much better as far as, you know, not it wasn't as humid as what I guess I'm trying to push yeah. here. So uh, that dry heat is a lot more bearable. I just never got a hot out there, you know? 
Nice tan. I've been out there a lot. Out there through Arizona, New Mexico, Texas. I, I like the heat out there. You really like it or you don't? I, I like the heat, but I don't like it out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I despise running 55 through that state. It feels the prices of diesel are through the roof out there. It is. It is. They got a lot of restrictions out there, but I met a lot of great people. I had a lot of great fun. And it was just a wonderful experience. I mean, I guess my best experience out there was, uh, I got so many stories that I can tell you about my travels, man. I guess we'll tell a few of them on this yeah. trip. But uh, I guess my favorite time out in California, particularly, was uh, Coachella 2019. Coachella, man. It was just full of vibes, full of great music, full of great people. But then at the wanted to check Coachella out. It's worth it, brother. It is worth it. It's an experience that you'll never forget. You'll see no drama. You'll see no bad energy. Just people from all different walks of life all around the world come to one place just to listen to great music vibe together sing together party together all different types of stuff together <laughs> I get crazy out there on the campgrounds yep, man yep. I'm definitely going to try to put it in my schedule to make it out to the uh, TwitchCon this year. TwitchCon? Yep. Or whatever they call it. I don't think TwitchCon is the right terminology. I think once we hit, you know, once we get monetized and we hit a thousand subscribers, we'll start going to like gaming conferences and vlogging those gaming conferences and bring them to the Trade Trends Gaming yep. channel so we all can experience it together. Uh, but yeah, I, I think if there's anything that you want to do, just find a nice group of people. I know that's the hardest part, is finding a nice group of people. I mean, uh, I travel with my brother. You may be seen on the chat, uh, the chat a lot. Caesar, he's on a beat on SoundCloud and all social media platforms. Uh, but yeah, you know he's reliable. When it's time for us to get up and do something, you know, we're going to actually get up and do it. We're going to actually get out there and go and experience that time together. And we, able to, we were able to travel the country, I mean, for so long together, seeing so many parts of the country, experiencing so many different energies and people out there, man. It was a great time. Yep. But yeah, I, I suggest find a nice group, a group of people that, uh, and it doesn't have to be many. Like I said, it was just me and him, you know, and a bunch of people wanted to follow along at times, but it was just me and him for a lot of those trips and those experiences. But, uh, and we would meet people as we went along and traveled along. But yeah, if you get a nice group of five people, man, yeah. that's, that'll be amazing. But like I said, that'll be the harder part. You know, you get time to do something and those people just disappear. They fall off. Golden's heading out, man. Nice to see you, Golden. I appreciate you stopping by showing some love, man. We got Golden up in the chat. I'll hit you up on Discord later on, brother. But yeah, plan of the year out. Feel something out. Plan of the year out. Make sure you save for it. Because we know the economy is just killing our pockets in today's age. Oh, yeah. We got a bit of a curse coming up ahead, not too major, and then we got a nice straightaway. Might be able to pick it up to about 50 coming through here. Alright, that's fine. Advised, we got deer on the side of the road, side of the road. Watch out for him, my marker 211. 
And at least Janet got some great sleep, much needed, she said. <laughs> but she wanted to be at the live. It'll be many more, Janet, I promise. Janet said, the sun trying to kill me, she get burnt in the shade. <laughs> I know a few people like that. I know a few people like that. Like they will burn in the shade. They don't tan. They just, they say they just burn. That's crazy. I think we all have gotten fragile, you know, with us living in the indoor generation. Yeah. I think we've all gotten fragile to the outside elements. We've domesticated ourselves like the house cat. You know, but at the same time, it's I'd rather be making content than be outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ready to get to the I point remember. where I can do both. Make content in yeah. and outside, you know? Yep. Part two said, uh, are always so surprised when they see me, they're like, oh, you exist. Yeah. I've been pretty locked in this year, man. I've been pretty locked in. We got goals to reach, though, man. We got goals to reach, so there's sacrifices yep. to make. Coming up on Campwell, well, my marker 183. How you looking on fuel? You need any sleep? What's going on back there? Uh, I've got about a quarter tank, but I'm good on everything. 10 4, let's keep rolling. 115 in Arizona was hot, lol. What do you mean? You out of Arizona and 115 crossing the Jack River? 115 in Arizona, Barto? Like Staff, Arizona is probably the most beautiful city I've been in. Frank Stafford? Like Staff. Five Staff. That's in Arizona? Yeah. Yeah. Gonna be dropping down to 45 coming through here. We can pretty much probably hold 50. Uh, I'll let you know what's up ahead. All right, all right. I'll keep my I'll keep my at 50. Our atmosphere has been altered. Definitely, man. Messing with that ozone layer, huh? I always say I'm a snow bunny, LOL. So you like the cold? Janet, the snow bunny in the chat. <laughs> Barto and Janet wishing Golden a great day. Such an amazing, energetic, positive, healthy family we got over here at Trade Trends Gaming, ladies and gentlemen. I always support each and every one of us, man. Tan after you burn. Okay, okay. Yeah, 1982. I think Flash stuff is in the mountains. Yep. If oh no, six hundred and twenty dollars. Oh man, hold on, I got some damage going on over here, brother. Side swipe the truck back there. Mile marker one four three. We can't stop here though. We got some hills up ahead. Oh, you gotta keep your car by here. I don't think he had insurance. I don't think he had insurance. He kept going, so we go keep going. Alright, you gotta keep your nose up chat sometimes. <laughs> oh man. Okay, you got it easy. I've got two chats I gotta look at. Harp and chemtrails have altered our atmosphere. Oh, uh, you know a lot of people don't know about Harp. Do you know about Harp, Jack? Yeah, no clue what you're talking about. So Harp is like our weather modification system. We're allowed, like, we can actually, like, we have the technology nowadays to actually alter our weather. 
So like we can create storms, big curves, mile marker 127. Go ahead and start slowing it down. But we can actually alter our weather nowadays, man. And uh, we can make it storm, we can make hurricanes, we can make lightning, we can make it rain. We can do all of this stuff now. As far as, it's crazy how far technology has come. I don't like that. <laughs> Uh, no, not a fan. Essentially, there's a man playing God. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we we technically are, man. We've came up with our own food source, you know. Uh, we don't, yeah. we're not, we don't use the same food system that we originally came up on. You know, we use GMO foods, it's genetic modified, and we're switching over to plant based now. Uh, I haven't tried it. Yo. I haven't tried it. Uh, plant based nope. is lab grown meat. You know, we take uh, cells and we split them up. And we make, you know, test tube meat, and that's what we pretty much are going to be going off of. And that's what we're switching over to, our fast food restaurants, our grocery stores. And uh, I think it'd be an exciting future for us to see where we go and to see how we uh, respond to it as far as, like, our body and our genetic makeup. But uh, we got all different types of stuff now, man. Uh, we're coming up with the, our own artificial sun. China has already been successful with coming up with their artificial sun. Uh, you guys can look all this up. You can look all this up. And, uh, I think it's just interesting how far we've come with technology and the things that, uh, we've been able to create. You know, that the human mind has been able to create. Uh, will it be bad for us? I have no idea. Will it be good or beneficial to us? I don't know. But, uh, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Stick with the beef. Real true cow. Yeah, I heard that one. I like me some beef ribs with a honey barbecue. Mashed potatoes and gravy, corn on the cob. Jenny, I don't get it. Like. Oh yeah, man, that sounds great. Speaking of food, what did everybody eat this morning? I had a cheese Danish. <laughs> I had a cheese Danish, man, and a Red Bull. I haven't had anything to eat yet. Oh man, come on, you gotta keep your fuel going, brother. Oh, I will. You gotta Once keep I your get fuel off the going. Stream, I'll be. I have a hard time eating in the morning. My belly is like, nope. Yeah, me too, man. Me too. I have to make myself eat for the most part. I get my juice in the morning and I go. It's actually the first time I've woken up, up early enough in the morning to get some content done. You'll get, you'll find a, the more the more you do it, you'll find a healthier schedule. I mean, sometimes you got to be yeah. a little disciplined with it, but you'll find a more you know healthier schedule to fit this into mm -hmm. it. Shannon said, I know about that. Speed limit's dropping down to 40 coming through here, brother. We got some curves up ahead. All right. High altitude Aurora research program is what HARP stands for. Barto said. Janet said that's why my body is. It. Yeah, it's uh, it's you should watch it, man. It's they got some interesting videos on YouTube, you know. Yeah. And I didn't even know some of this stuff. You know, it shocked you that you find out some of this stuff even exists and it's even possible to do a lot of this stuff but uh we got there on the side of the road mile marker 64 64 miles into the drop off man let's get this last load dropped off or this uh first load dropped off you want to head up to bread hole bay oh yeah yeah, yeah let's, let's drive to bread hole bay but your, your uh, truck, truck really, really trying to uh, the uh, 
Let's so run across the, the road without change, change and then, uh, and then uh, once we get, once to, that we station, get to that we station where we can, we can chain up, we can there. put chains on there. Janice said, all corn is GMO. I think 90% of the foods that we produce in this country are all GMO. Uh, we're the only country that does it. And, uh, I mean, we're at the top of every, you know, sport that's out there right now. I don't, I ain't gonna say we're the smartest, man. We definitely ain't the yeah, smartest. Not the smartest. But, uh, uh, I'm pretty sure it's something like 90% of the food that we produce over here in the U.S. is all GMO. So, whatever you go to your local fast food restaurants, that's what you're consuming. Like I said, I'm no scientist. I don't know what it does to the body. I don't know if it's actually healthier. I mean, I know if you put water in a diesel diesel truck, it ain't gonna run too well, you know? Yep. But as far as this goes, I'm not really sure. I know it hasn't been through human trials or anything like that. But it was approved by the FDA. So. If we can even trust them. We'll see. We don't turn into a bunch of conspiracy theories on this trip, man. <laughs> I guess you can't say it's conspiracy oh, theories. It's more like science, you know? Yeah. What do you choose to inhale as your food? Uh, I'm a I eat more salads, personally. I'm a... Uh, so I go all uh, non-GMO, organic, me personally. You know, that what, that's what works for yep. me. Uh... I find out like I have a lot more energy, you know, I'm more clear minded, my moves are a lot better. Uh, I don't even know how to explain it, it's just a whole lot better all around for me. And I went more to a pescatarian diet because it's so hard like to find like an actual like butcher that, you know, doesn't, it doesn't have all the pesticides over your fruit and over your vegetables and uh, you know, it, your animals aren't overly injected to make them bigger and all that stuff so you know that's what works best for me but uh everybody has their own thing and i don't knock what everybody does you know i believe in freedom either you believe in freedom or you don't right yep all right we got our last big curve i'm pretty sure i think it's our last big curve at this speed anyway coming up on anchorage brother let's go ahead and start breaking it down University of Alaska Fairbanks Fairbanks has in a university no, no, it's it's the exit. Exit. Is it this exit it is yep. And then we got a left-hand turn coming up just past my marker one four Arto said it's not healthy for us. It's a bunch of chemicals being ingested when you eat GMO. Yeah. I, I stick as organic as possible. That's why I like living in the smaller towns. You have a lot more of that fresh food. I'm, I'm gonna be stuck, stuck right here at this red light. This red light. I'm going to be pushing it slow in the right lane. I'll mark it one for Barto said conspiracy facts. <laughs> uh, Ryan Gaming. We got Ryan Gaming up in the chat. What's up, Ryan? Jenny said, let's change the subject. You just lagging, and I paid more data today. <laughs> <laughs> Big Brother said no go. Big shout out to Big Brother and our founding fathers. All right, we got a right hand turn, mile marker one three. Damn, damn, where I'm rolling right now. We 
charged up. Ryan said he was he's good. He was about to play ready or not, but I saw this. Hey man, I appreciate you tuning in, Ryan. We're back for season one, episode four. We bought our first stroke, man. We did it. We finally did it. Our first truck, and she is beautiful. Let's try to keep on the road, though. I think this is a turning lane. Let's get over one. We actually probably stay to the right up here. All right, let's stay to the right. Mile marker one two. Barto said, all right, changing the subject. No, no, I dropped my trailer on accident. Bro, how'd you do that? Back here. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, Ryan. It's great having you over here, man. It's great having you a part of the Trade Trans Gaming family. Let's go ahead and get over. Be advised, we got a right hand turn coming up. Get ready to drop off our first delivery. And yeah, this is gonna be our first delivery with our brand new truck, as well as uh, of the day, man. We're gonna take a pretty long load up to uh, from Fairbanks. We're out in Fairbanks right now to uh, Prudhoe Bay. Come on, you be asking out of the way. Bubba the cage. Oh God! Did I I told you to get out of the way. 620. I've lost all the money on this load. I lost every last dollar for this load. For shame. Because she wanted to tiptoe, man. Come on, get out of the way. Don't hold me up now. I tell you what, we're gonna have to figure out something, man. We're gonna have to figure out something. Are you like directly behind me? Are you directly behind me, brother? Yeah, I can't go back. Yeah, I can't, I can't go, go back, back any. I got AI on my ass. Oh, man. Let's see if we can get back a little bit. Are you gonna back up and hit me? You huh? You know I thought you actually was gonna do that. Then you gonna let me go. You'll be better off squeezing by you. Barto said that's not good. Get the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> we probably should have left it back there since we ain't finna make no money off this trip, man. Turn, turn. You have your turn signal on turn. I'm not stopping.
Christmas you want 30,000 pounds going up the back of your car, I guess you hurry up and turn. At least we made it. You might make a couple dollars out of it. I'm not gonna make it. I got two six hundred and twenty dollar tickets. Oh twelve hundred dollars. I paid money for this trip. Janet said, how are you today, Bubba? How you feeling, Bubba? Why does he keep doing that, man? Drop it off our first load. At the rail export out of Fairbanks, Alaska. Let's drop this one off and let's see if we can find us a load going up to uh, Pearl Hole Bay on the ice road. Our first real test on our brand new truck. That's right, Bubba, we did it. So we'll make money on this load. I just won't make any money like, like I've lost money altogether from tickets. Tight fit, but we'll get it in there. Tight fit for you. I've got to go between two trailers. Oh, you ain't here. All right, let's drop that load and let's see how they said we did. They should be happy. Their load, their cargo, all that good stuff is safe. Excellent. Driven distance 389 miles, time taking 13 hours and 14 minutes. We only consumed about 82.5 gallons of fuel on this load. We made about 14, uh, $1,100. So we made about $1,100, but we got 200 or two $620 tickets. Uh, I guess we'll, you know, chunk it up to uh, XP. We need uh, 935 XP on this. We are at level six, a true enthusiast. Let's go ahead and see uh, the current company offers. See if they got something going up north. I hope we can find something heavy. No, nothing from here anyway. I know they better have something coming out of Fairbanks, man. That was all we were saying last night, right? Yep. All right, we got a few. Got one going back down to Anchorage. I got a mixed Definitely. tank, man. I got a mixed tank going from uh, Fairbanks to Pride Hole Bay. Oh. Let's do it. It's another drop deck. Okay 15,000 pounds. I really wish, man. <sighs> I wanted something kind of heavier. I'm not going to lie to you. I've got 49,000 pounds of scrap cars going down to Talk, Alaska. Nah, I wanted something heavy, heavy. 
We haven't been down to talk I mean, yet. You got anything else going down yeah. to talk? Uh, no. My only other thing is glass racks going down to Anchorage. Scrap cars. All right. All right. Taking it. No, I'm just, what are you, you taking it? Hold on, man. Oh, I thought I thought that's one you wanted. No, I was uh, gonna ask chat. All right, chat. This is what we got. We got some scrap cars going all the way down the talk. Talk is gonna be about right here. Or, or we can hop on this ice road up north, past Coldfoot, all the way to the Dead Horse Man and uh, Pearl Hole Bay, and we got us a mixed tank. 15,000 pounds. How much does the uh, how much money will we make off those scrap cars? And how much does it weigh? 49,000 pounds. For 219 miles, we'll make it a 537. Dollars. That's two dollars a mile. You said how much does it weigh? 49,000. And it weighs 49,000. What do you say, yep. chat? We going to talk or we going to put hope? Scrap cars or mixed tank? Now, what do you mean, Bubble? You got... You good, bro. Got some adult info. Uh, I tell you what, this. Hmm, that's a tough one, brother. The mix tank. I got one vote for the mix tank. Mix tank going once. Can we get another vote? Mixed tank going once. Going twice. Sold. We're going to be going out to Prud Hole Bay with this mixed tank. 15,000 pounds. All the way from Fairbanks, Alaska to Prud Hole Bay. It's going to be about 1,500. How much money did you say we was going to make off of that one, man? Uh, it was like $500. Mm. What do you say, man? Let's go to Prudhoe. Are you sure? Yep. yep. We're going to Prudhoe. Barto said mixed tank going to Prudhoe. All right, let's go pick up that load, guys. Not a real export right now from uh Fairbanks, Alaska. It probably should be down the road. We shouldn't have to go too far to pick up that load. Let's see. Yeah, about 21 miles, so not too far. Bartow said you was away from the phone, man. Who was waiting for your vote, brother? Who was waiting for your vote?
Breaker, breaker, breaker. This is truck trade coming over your CB. How you doing back there, brother? I'm right on your back door. I'm right on your back door. It's gonna be this right, right here. Stop and watch for a train. Come on, man, come on, we gotta get hit. <laughs> that would have been good for nobody, man. All right, which way is it? I would have been out of the season. I would have been out for the season. I think it's still straight ahead. Why does it keep doing that? Voted for the mix tank. I'll be going back for night, back for the night tonight, bro, to my house since it's my 21st birthday. It's your birthday today. Happy birthday, Bubba. Let's see if we can get Nomadic Jack to sing you happy birthday, man. <laughs> I'm not singing. That's funny. Come on, bro. It's Bubba the Cage's birthday today, man. I'm not gonna sing. Come on, bro. Just give him a little something. You know? Happy birthday. No, no. It's gotta be a tune. <laughs> it's gotta be a tune. You're funny. You're funny. You got jokes. I, I don't have a stream deck to just play a happy birthday song right now. Although I wish I had that. It's your 21st birthday. I'll tell you what, Bubba. Happy birthday, man. Happy 21st birthday. Welcome to the legal age to drink, man. <laughs> I don't suggest it, but uh, at least you have that right. And either you believe in freedom or you don't, right? Barso said, I'm eating a couple of pieces of keto bread and butter for breakfast. You on a diet? You know, I hear that keto diet actually works for people. Like, I've never heard somebody say, oh, I've done that keto diet and I've actually stuck to it and it didn't work. I've never heard anything like that. I've always heard... I gained 200 pounds. Yeah, I've never heard anything like that. I've heard, always heard successful stories about that, man. All right, Lotus about to go on a board. All right, like I said, from Mud Creek Slide all the way to the Gallon Oil Mix Tank, 15,000 pounds from Fairbanks, Alaska to Port Hope Bay. That's right up there to the Ice Road. Now, we got until Sunday to get it there. Uh, what? It's Friday now, 40 p.m., but we got until Sunday morning at 425. So that's about the time we should make it up there. We got 15 t hours to get it up there. So we got plenty of time just in case you want to grab some rest. Uh, we run into anything on the road. We can really take our time on this one. Uh, we'll probably fill up in cold foot. That's why I'll probably fill up at in cold foot. Uh, let's go ahead and get this load up on the board. $1,500, man. $2.36 a mile. It's actually pretty good. I'm 
go all the way around. I don't have the option to change mine. Only the one that's accepting the load can. So I'm to hit one of these phones here. And that's our baby, the one we're gonna be picking up today, man. Yours is even a better color, man. <laughs> hey, at least I'll be able to see yours from a mile away. Alright, I led this one. You want to lead the other one? This one? I led the other one. You want to lead this one? Yeah, I'll lead it. Alright, let me know when you got enough room to pass. I'm going around right now. All right, guys, just check our fuel. We should be good to go until we get to up to cold foot. All our levels are looking pretty good right now. Oil temp, air pressure, coolant, battery voltage. That's one thing you don't want to do, and that's break down out in the ice road. Maze back here, man. I know. I can't wait to have like a motion platform and filling all these bumps. Right? But when you get your wheel shifted in pedals, you'll feel it in those, man. Where feedback or direct drive is really good. Yeah. It's really customizable depending on like which uh, system you choose to run with. Probably go Thrustmaster with it, honestly. Trains come by here constantly. I'm trying to tell you. Let's get our music back going. Bubba said, I'm going to be in SLRP if you're going to be in tonight. I have already reacted, man. I'm definitely going to be in tonight. Uh, I don't know who I want to play. If I want to bring back, uh, if I want to bring out uh, Oshido Brown Jr. or uh, Ho Chang. 
I might actually make a oh, new character. Dang. Whole chain, man. Whole chain don't play no games. So I haven't really decided yet, but uh, I'm going to give us enough time to be able to create somebody if so. And I'll be in there as soon as patrol starts tonight. Am I stuck? I'm stuck for a second. No, not on a diet. Soon I'm gonna go get a mocha and something to eat. We're taking our right hand turn up here. 10-4. Janice said I'm get back on keto soon. Everybody wishing Bubba a happy, happy, happy birthday. Happy 21st birthday. Bubba the Cajun in the house tonight, man. Oh man, it always looks like we're gonna be getting a blizzard coming through here. Bubba said he's eating lemon cake for breakfast this morning. That's good. I love me some lemon cake. He said for breakfast and for dinner. All right, I see you, man. I see you. Oh, is it done snowing already? It never even started on my screen. That's crazy, man. I love it when it snows. The red light. Hey Bubba, do you still get on ATS? Janice said like, share, comment, and subscribe on the road to 700 subs, man. 700 subscribers. We came such a long way at the Trade Trends Gaming family. I appreciate it, Janet. For me, I'm going right up here. Don't shift gears from crossing the tracks. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I'll be betting the rest of the day of my rocks, so for like one or two hours, I'm going to see how much money I have, and I may get some, give you some. Oh, you talking about on SLRP? Yeah, man, what you been spending all your money on? I may actually play a lady of the night tonight on SLRP, man. Speaking of that, big shout out to West Coast Guy Gaming. One of our brothers, he's also a streamer of uh, ATS. He's not on right now, but he was on last night. I think he's about 10 subscribers away from uh, 300, so. If you run into him tonight, we'll definitely give him a shout out if he goes live. So we can help him reach that goal, man. He is a great, great, great content creator, man. And I'm not just saying that, he really is. I do give credit where it's due. Some people say I'm too harsh with my reviews. We're going down the one line, line up here. Go ahead, Go ahead and get to the left. 10 4. Found on your back door. Got 
got some uh, bad curves coming up here and slow traffic. Slow traffic. Northern lights out in the distance, stars in the sky. Truckers on the road, out trying to pay the bills. On the road from zero to a million dollars, ladies and gentlemen. Company, why? Big shout out to Trade Trends Trucking. Shout out to all the drivers out there, part of Trade Trends Trucking. And all of those who come and join us on these convoys. We got a good group of people. Uh... It's going to be a nice, good season. Nice, good season. As long as we don't keep getting those tickets, right? But I'm excited. I'm excited to be taking this journey with you guys. And I can't wait to see what the future holds. Looks like traffic's going to be slowing down up ahead. We got a road work area up on the shoulder. Got pig action, snow. That's what it looked like. Well, that guy's going places, man. <laughs> the China, maybe. Jenna said that was that was uh that was Bubba back there, mining. No, but he actually made some pretty good money on that uh, RP server. Let me get past these curves and I'm going to check in with the chat in just a second, okay? the Jake on here. I'm trying to tell you it's really, really something else, right? Yep. You got some traffic behind me. We got a lot of traffic out here today and I hope it doesn't get in the way. Yeah. I tell you what, we the slowest ones. Hey, you gonna I share some of that money, Bubba? Different. Jenna said, I'm in the park waiting for my dog, or walking my dog. It's 41 degrees, and I just have a sweatshirt on. It's a beautiful day. Bubba said, I haven't been on a PC constantly. It's like a week and a half. Barto said, phone says, 45 and cloudy out here. Man, what's up with all these cold? <laughs> it is so cold. I was cold last night. Let me see what my... Mine says 53 windy with the highest 61. That's my kind of weather. You still coming? Yeah, I'm still trucking, man. I'm still trucking, trying to anyway. Oh, yeah, there you are. I'm trying to see, do I have the speed of, uh weather outside on here I don't, I don't know okay so that changes a few things for me right there let's see if I can find the weather on this little screen right here uh, I'd say it's probably around negative no 15 block. out here I pull up on your router browser? No, it doesn't. I'd give it about negative 15. Maybe even colder because of the ice thread. Right? 
It'll be warmer later. No, no, no. Oh, man. I almost went off the cliff there. I was still sliding. Oh, back on that curve, man. That could have ended it for us all. But we're still all right. We're still trucking. Jenna said it's 53 and nice. on blinding everybody man but so said man. watch the road change watch the road trade the road don't try to drive lol hey, I'm trying Cliff just there, man. <laughs> I thought I said 82. Are we like 82 miles away from Goldfoot? Is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying we were going through some aggressive corners. Yeah, you said mile mark 82. Uh, let me check. The snow banks are solid. Uh, we don't even have to make it to cold foot. I see a gas station coming up. Well, I don't need it until about the time we make it out to cold foot. Alright. Unless you need to stop. I don't need to stop. We've got maybe about, say, one, 200 miles till cold foot. Alright, brother. Sounds great. So what were we 82 miles from? No, I was saying 482 aggressive turns. Oh, I thought you said 82. No. Thank you. 
Fire Stick 482. You got 144. Hey, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I wish I was that guy that made a uh, million dollars that day. Won't be too mad about that, right? No, oh, I wouldn't be mad about it. Hey, you won uh, two million dollars on the lottery. I definitely have my game in city. Try to keep it nice and steady throughout here. Uh, hopefully, I don't get uh, caught going up that hill. Yeah, yeah just let your uh, engine do all the work. What a hill we got ahead of us. Struggling, but she's getting up there. How much is ATS on Steam nowadays? I don't know. I think like regular price is like nineteen ninety nine. I think. All right. We got people asking in chat. Yours. Things working, man. They're doing their job. Like the trade 
that made it. Yeah, the game's about $19 for her. Also running a paid mod right now for Alaska. We've also got some other winter mods called Frosty in here. Back door lead trucker. Going about 45 and climbing. Man, it took, it took you long, long enough. I thought I had done lost you. Yeah. Yeah, I can't afford to lose any more money on this trip, man. I remember, I remember what they were, they were calling us for professionals. You're gonna be working on railroad cars. How you gonna be doing that? We got some flight corners up here. Pretty steady, yeah, 50 though. Yeah, You're only making $2 an hour plus tips. Is that even legal? Don't they have to pay you a uh, minimum wage? Not if you get tips. That's stupid. Two dollars an hour plus tips. That's crazy. I'm pulling down, down to uh, about 45, and then I'm calling back up. Alright, that's a big 10 4. How many miles you got until we get out to cold foot? I'd say, I'd say it's, it's about, about maybe, maybe anywhere from 50, 50 to 60, 60 miles, miles will be there. there. You made almost $100 in tips, that's crazy. I don't get tips on the cook. Alright, that's a big 10 4. Coming up on just a little bit of half a take on our 
gas tank, so make sure that we uh, prioritize stop that cold foot. Alright, I'm backing off. We got a couple of cars up here. So, that gas meter right there, our fuel gauge. I don't really get on Fortnite that often. That was just a random stream. I needed something to fill the space. I smell my roommate's cooking and it's making me hungry. Janet said, that's why you should always be a nice waitress. As your wages depend on it. <laughs> your wages depend on it. I guess I agree in that aspect of it, because you know you can make a lot of money as a waitress, like you can really tip it out, uh, but if that customer service is an on point, then you are not going to make anything, and I kind of agree with that. Well, down, yeah, yeah, I got a couple sharper corners up here. Company and Fall Guys. I don't know what Fall Guys is, but I played Lethal Company. Yeah, I feel like baristas probably make more than waiters, depending on like oh, what yeah. restaurant that you're at. But you're always inclined to uh, tip the person making your drink a lot more, you know? Yeah. Especially when you're sitting at a bar. You would think the people who are cooking your food, though, should get the tips by the end of the night, because technically I cooked the food. I made what you just put in your system. I want part of that tip. I might be wrong saying that, but that's how I feel. I'm the one who put my blood, sweat, and tears into your food. Alright, we're going to be pulling into the cold foot here in a minute. We're going to be flying it down. Alright, this is Big Jam 4. I'm right in your back door. Approaching cold foot. Just got word that we are approaching cold foot. Wow, slippery through there. Nice. Brakes up ahead. Let's give him a little bit of space. Bosses from Kansas. That's cool. Or well, whatever road goes. Way of the road, bub. It's the way she goes. I hated to order food at work with people because they wouldn't tip. Hey, Janet, you know, like, that's a big problem that I have, too. Like, not tipping a good waitress or waiter or barista, you know what I'm saying? Like, I definitely tip depending on uh, the service. Especially, you know, it's not easy, you know. You have to think about it. A lot of us already have a tough time getting out there and talking to people as it is, you know? And for them to have to do it for a living, and if they're actually good at it, like actually practiced at it and they're good at it, I feel like they should be paid their wages. Uh, Jenny said, I hate it. Or cash tips are the best tips. Of course, of course. Pulling up the cold foot now. Put 
for those who don't know, Cold Foot is a famous truck stop out in Alaska. That's about all she is. <laughs> in the middle of nowhere, as you can see. 607 dollars three dollars ain't no way down how much did you have i had a half tank I see some of the weight don't me. get any tips at all i have a tip card i get oh tip card i don't even know what that is 541 okay it's gonna take about half our money for this trip but we better take one down and make some of that up i guess Here I go. That's big jam four. Try to chip in cash, then it can't be tracked. Hey, that'll be a thing of the future. I mean, a thing of the past soon. Moving towards a cashless society. What are they uh, splitting your tips then? If you get a cat, uh... well, it can be taxed. No, cash can't be taxed. Yeah. It's hard to track cash. Make a right hand, hand turn, turn back, back on the highway. highway. Bartram said, first time I delivered Subway for five ladies and we didn't deliver not one of them tip. And they were working at medical facility, LOL. Oh, man. Penny pictures. Now, were, they, were you on time? Food in good condition, all that good stuff? Deserve a tip. Now I've ordered food, and I've ordered food before, and it's taken like, you know how they give you an estimated delivery time? Well, they change like that delivery time several times, and then it, I don't know if it's because of the driver or the restaurant, but the driver had already left the restaurant, so obviously it was because of the driver. And it still come like two, three hours later than that expected delivery time. Food extremely cold and all of that good stuff. And you know, it's already expensive ordering off of DoorDash or Uber Eats or something like that. Yeah. So, you know, paying those expenses and then getting your cold food on top of that, nobody oh, wants that. No. Nobody wants that. I know, uh, I used to drive for Uber. And I always tried to have the best service, the quickest delivery and all that. I don't play Daisy all that much. I don't know I how to play it. Yeah, <laughs> I was about to say play it. I've never played it, so. I've tried it several times. I just could not get the controls down. Same thing with Armor 3. I'm really in love with Armor 3. Like watching it. Watching the content of like yeah. the military simulations. Uh, you alright up there, brother? You alright? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, yeah I'm good. good. Check, check the cat the wrong hands. Hands. But yeah, uh, it's all keyboard and mouse for the most part. Like you can map your controller to do it, but you're still gonna need the keyboard and mouse for a lot of it, especially if you wanna be good at it. And I just haven't gotten around to so keyboard and mouse. I love playing with keyboard and mouse. Everyone wants me to pick up a controller and I just refuse to because I don't like it. I love it. 
But then again, that's because I grew up playing like consoles. You know, there's yeah. been the times I've never had a gaming PC all up until like three years ago, maybe. You know, two years ago. Yeah. Uh, that's the decision you made, though. That's the it's decision, best made. decision I made. Definitely, I wouldn't even make content today if I never did that. But it was always so nice to switch over from PC or console to PC, being able to have the option to use that. Yeah. You know, to use that controller. Yeah, and then being able to upgrade your equipment as you go. With Xbox, you have to buy a whole new Xbox if something goes out. Exactly. My graphics card to go out right now, I'll just go buy a new one. Like, I've also got like two extras right now that I can slap it in, so. Uh, engine driver, we will be pulling up to the mountain passes here shortly. You need to stop getting changed, ready to go. Already got my chains equipped, I'm looking pretty good up here. Uh, let's get ready, we got our first, well I wouldn't say our first, but we got our next big task to get past us, alright? Let's take it slow, I don't want to go off this road. You're going to take a slow, this is the cheaper side, so I might take a little extra on your engine. Okay. Coming through the mountain pass on an Alaskan ice road. Now it's pretty tough getting up these mountains, and it's pretty tough controlling the descent coming off the mountains. We'll pass that. We hit the ice road, and we'll be in Prod Hole Bay. Yeah, keyboard and mouse is, uh, that Oh, we up here, man. We are up here in the mountains. Oh, Tony is falling. You know, we talk about animals and all that good stuff. But humans really uh, inhabit anywhere we could possibly live. I just did it says a special type of person that is able to live out in Alaska you know uh, I don't knock it I definitely don't knock it you know I could definitely go for vacation to live uh, for a season but to live 24-7 and say, hey, I'm never going anywhere, but, you know, I just love it out here in Alaska. And I love the wilderness, you know, and being able to be independent out there like that. You know, I commend those people. But uh, I couldn't do it forever. I couldn't do it forever to just wake up every day, walk out, snow. Now I'm going to go drive. I got to put my snow tires on. I know it doesn't snow year-round around there, but... It's pretty, like, what's the warmest it does it get up there, and how long does it stay warm? I have no clue. Are there winter, are there winter months longer than our winter months? I think so.
Back in, sliding out on me a little bit on that last turn. Can you hear me now? Who, me? Nah, I'm going stream saying that they can't hear me. Don't plow past this right here. That's a good and bad thing. I know uh, some of the snow plows hit. It does make it more slippery at first, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah. I'm pulling over for a second. I need to check my mic. Can you guys hear me better now? Okay, you can hear me better now. We're good to go. All right, that's cool, Barto. Barto said, Pam is up and hungry. I got a phone in to order a brunch and then go get it, LOL. I remember those days, man. All right, we're gonna roll. I've got my mic check it out. Uh, watch out, driver. You got a car coming up on your tail end there. I remember those days, Barto. I'm always causing traffic jams. Jenna said, I want to go to Alaska. I'd even go to Antarctica. Yeah, no, you got way too cold going down there. Nope. Alaska's about as cold as I'll go. I want to go. I want to see what's on the other side of that ice wall. <laughs> More ice. I'm slow rolling up this hill. She's struggling getting up. Alright, there's gonna be some corners coming down off that drop off. Drive, man, this is a nice drive. Dropping off our second load of episode four. It feels great. It feels good. I'm happy to be with you guys. Yep. Hope you guys are liking the chunk of content that we're pushing out over here. We got Alaskan ice road. Get ready. All right, this is the fences to the ice road right here, guys. 
you guys are enjoying the content that I make, you think I'm doing a hard job over here, man. Consider liking and subscribing, even commenting down below. It's greatly appreciated. It does not go unnoticed. I would agree. Northern lights are pretty. Uh, yeah, I can believe that actually. Believe what? Oh no, talk to chat. Not paying attention to the red at all, just talking to chat. With your, uh, Janet said, I'm going to try to get a little work done. We're going to try to listen to. All right, yeah, Janet. That was safe uh, and uh, uh, great to have work. Grow up. He's doing good. I don't see him a lot, but I know he's doing good. Oh, Pam says hello. Hello. Tell Pam we send him the much love from Trey Trans Gaming. Big shout out to Pam. Back, Back on, on land, land for a little bit. bit. Parto said, gotta go for a bit. I'll be back. Big love, everybody. Much love to you, Parto. Much love, brother. What? What did I get a ticket for? File oh, marker 102. You got the truck on the shoulder broke down. I got my lights on. What you? I don't know. I do. Are you getting tickets? I don't know. Is there a way I can look at my ticket history? Uh, I don't even know. I 
have no clue what Fall Guys is, but I'm glad you won. Everybody makes it. You out here, brother. I'll be trying to front hole. Oh, I'm going down, down the uh, way for you. I see a yeah, sun back there. there. up ahead, nothing too major. Go 
gotta check out these road conditions. It's only one way we can go now. That's four, brother. Let's get it. Yeah, yeah. The truck broke, broke down, down in there, so we'll, we'll see, see what, what happens. happens. Just, just take it easy around team 15, and we should be able to do it. Yeah, that's my plan. Not recommended. Oh man, we're getting deep in the water now. We got a truck broken on on the side of the road. It's coming up to my engine right now. Beautiful Kenworth W900. Broken through the ice. Looks like he went off the road. I'm getting a couple more water crosses up here. I'm gonna keep it low, so. That's what happens when it starts melting. Man, my bobbleheads are going crazy right now. Checking my levels here in just a second. looking pretty good we're looking pretty good on all our measurements down here okay air pressure to the trailer air pressure to the truck uh oil levels looking good we're looking great on fuel baby looking great on fuel after paying almost six hundred dollars back in cold foot other than that as long as we can get out here to prone hood hood hole i should say as long as we get out here to Prud Hole, we should be alright. We should be alright. Prud 
You gotta put the bread with the hoe. You gotta bread hoe. Bread hoe. Uh, I'm going to adjust my seat here. Give me a second, guys. I'm probably not going to be able to make it down there. I'm too busy for that. Here we go. Trucker trader lead trucker. Is that you I see in a distance up there, brother? Sitting here waiting for you. All good to go. We can get that truck moving. We'll be blocking off traffic for you back here. Ten four. Thank you. Now, depending on where we have to go, we shouldn't have too far, too far to go, man. I know we got a few curves up ahead. But I think we're just right outside of Front Hole Bay. I think the scariest part of this trip is pretty much wrapped up. But uh, like I said, anything can happen out here on the Alaska Ice Road. A lot of truck is le truck is leaving Front Hole, trying to get all these all the equipment out there before this road completely melts.
Finally coming off the ice. No, is it still gonna is it still gonna be slippery through here, brother? Yeah, it gets pretty slick, but there's a uh, well less chance of actually you reckon. I'm holding my cruise at 40, it's a little narrow through here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to slow it down a lot more than that, trying to hit these curves, man. Ten four. I uh, tried calling it out, but it was a little late. Oh no, you're all good, man. You're all good. Well, wow, marker three, we'll be taking our right hand corner up here. I'll mark it for your right hand corner, got you. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we finally made it. We finally made it. We're looking great, looking good. It's a nice little road over there, too. I don't know where that goes, but I'm sure we'll find out one of these days. We got a whole season ahead of us. I appreciate y'all coming on this trip with me and uh, joining me for episode four. Like I said, we are going to make these actual episode recordings as well. Uh... But I appreciate you guys joining me at Trade Trends Gaming and Trade Trends Gaming family. If you guys could think that we're doing our job over here, considering liking, and subscribing, and even commenting down below, man. It's greatly appreciated. It does not go unnoticed. Big shout out to Nomadic Jack on YouTube, man. It's going to be the truck that uh, took this trip with us today. We teamed up and uh, conquered the ice road. So if you guys want to check it out from a different perspective, go ahead and uh, check them out at Nomadic Jack. I'm making this right turn here. I do want to give a brand, brand new big shout out to all the new subscribers to this channel as well as the long term subscribers to the channel man. A big shout out to our sponsors W Energy. Link coming soon. As soon as we switch over to OBS trying to work on that today we're gonna be wrapping up the live stream here as soon as we get this uh load dropped off yeah go ahead buy that buy that mark give me the uh first person buying it Castaway merch coming soon. I'm gonna have some Alaskan truck merch coming and some other merch that will be released here shortly. Alright, All right, we're, we're gonna, gonna be taking a left hand turn into this yard, yard right, right here. Ten four. You know what they want this dropped off at? Ah, I'm checking 
Try to get her in there. First, probably getting it in there. Go ahead and get our engine turned off here and drop this trailer. Made a total of All right, let's see what talking about. dollars Got an eleven hundred XP. What do you Still need? Level it? six, working on level seven. About two thousand more to go. All right. Remember, guys, a skilled truck driver can deal with maneuvering in tight spaces when dropping off a trailer. However, cargo safety is top priority. So if you do not feel up to the challenge, negotiate with dispatch for a backup place to park the trailer. Thank you. Thank you. I'm feeling up to the challenge today. Let's get it. Where are they gonna get you back up to? Oh, uh, they got me dropping off somewhere in the back. I'm gonna try to see if I can find it. Now I'm gonna come back here and see if I can watch you. Oh, nope. I'm... Oh, man. It made me skip it. It skipped the drop off, bro. Yeah, yeah I see that. That was weird. weird. Wow. I really wanted to do that, too. All right, but we got mixed tank delivered from Fairbanks to Prudhoe Bay. We did an excellent job. They're very satisfied with this delivery. We got it there on time. We drove, we drove 574 miles. Took 21 hours for us to get it here, but, you know, better safe than sorry. Uh, we did consume about 121.2 gallons of fuel on this load. Base reward is going to be about $1,535. Uh, we got a little bit of XP for the long distance delivery bonus. Skill rank three. Uh, that comes up to a total XP of 1156,000. Uh, level 6, still an enthusiast, so. We getting it. We're definitely getting it out here, man. These boys gonna have to catch up with us. Oh. Alright, guys, but like I said, I definitely appreciate you guys joining us for this ice road season. That's gonna be Trey Trends trucking, man. At Trey Trends Gaming. And we're gonna be checking out. Get ready to get some rest. Join us back for episode 5, man. Episode 5. We'll make sure we put it on the community page. If you have a Discord, join our Discord today so you don't miss any more live streams and hit that notification bell. Much love. Much love. Big shout out to Barto, Janet. Amazing moderators that joined us today for today's live stream. KPJ wasn't able to make it this morning, but on the show we'll see him sometime today. We'll be back live with some law enforcement role play. We'll be back live with some law enforcement role play. Big shout out to Bubba the Cajun. Who else do we have joining us today? Ryan Gaming 32. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by and joining us today. Slow man, Golden M or PMG. As always, it's always great to see you, man. Ivy Hayes, Ernest Wilford, and of course, of course, the legendary Nomadic Jack. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be cutting it here, getting some rest before we take this next 
load or should I say join us back for episode 5 for that next load it's been amazing it's been a time it's Trey Trench Gaming and we're going to be checking out